Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. When Emmy winning actress Gwyneth Paltrow and Coldplay's lead vocalist Chris Martin ended their 11 year marriage, everyone was less focused on the reason behind their split than the unique term they used to describe their separation, conscious uncoupling. The former husband and wife duo, who also shared two kids, were known for keeping their relationship private, but now that it's been years since their divorce was finalized, Gwyneth looked back on her separation and revealed why she chose to end her marriage. Here's the real reason Gwyneth Paltrow and Chris Martin divorced. Number 5. When Did Gwyneth Paltrow and Chris Martin Start Dating? Gwyneth Paltrow and Chris Martin's romance dates back to 2002, when the two celebs met for the first time backstage at a Coldplay concert. While keeping their relationship away from the spotlight, the former lovebirds secretly wed in a close-knit ceremony within a year of dating. Chris and Gwyneth reportedly tied the knot after a few days of publicly announcing that they were expecting their first child together. Fast forward to 2004, the newlyweds had their first baby, a daughter named Apple Allison Martin, in London, and in 2006 they welcomed their second child, a son named Moses Anthony Martin. Number 4. Chris and Gwyneth's Conscious Uncoupling Fans first started speculating a rift between Chris and Gwyneth back in 2009, as they weren't spotted together in public for quite some time. But Gwyneth shut down all rumors, saying that just because she and her husband weren't a public couple, it didn't mean that they were having problems in their marriage. Speaking of Elle magazine, the shallow Hal actress revealed that Chris didn't want them to be a public couple. We've never ever walked down a red carpet together. We never will. If people think that means we're not together, then ha ha ha, so be it. She said at the time. In 2014, however, it was Gwyneth who announced her split with Chris via her lifestyle blog, Goop, saying, We have always conducted our relationship privately, and we hope that as we consciously uncouple and co-parent, we will be able to continue in the same manner. Unsurprisingly, the breakup news quickly made headlines, but more than that, the term conscious uncoupling became a topic of discussion on Twitter. Although a majority of people kept mocking the concept, Gwyneth was sure it was the right thing to do at the time. In an interview with the Evening Standard, she explained what conscious uncoupling meant and how it was different from a disastrous divorce that rips families apart. Family structure can be reinvented and divorce doesn't have to be devastating. It does have to be the end of your relationship with somebody, Paltrow said. I think Chris and I were meant to be together and have our kids, but our relationship is much better like this, friends and co-parents and family. Number 3. Do Gwyneth and Chris go on double dates with their new partners? Gwyneth and Chris' divorce was finalized in 2016, and since then, they've managed to set a rare example of a non-acrimonious separation. Not only are the two celebs peacefully co-parenting, but they're also supportive of each other's current romantic relationships. The Oscar-winning actor and Coldplay frontman are, in fact, quite fond of the other's new partner, and even go out on double dates. As most fans already know, Gwyneth tied the knot with Glee co-creator Brad Falchuk in 2018, while Chris started dating Fifty Shades of Grey star Dakota Johnson in 2017. In one of her interviews with Harper's Bazaar, Gwyneth said that she loves Dakota, not to mention the fact that Dakota also accompanied her boyfriend and his family on their ski trip in 2019. Number 2. Gwyneth reveals when she fell out of love with Chris Martin. I wouldn't be able to be married to the father of my children for the rest of my life. And it was very challenging for me. In a 2020 interview with British Vogue, Gwyneth Paltrow opened up about the realities behind her split with Chris Martin and looked back to the day she realized her marriage was over. It happened in 2010 when she was on vacation with her ex-husband in Tuscany, celebrating her 38th birthday. I don't remember which day of the weekend it was or the time of day, she recalled, but I knew, despite the long walks and longer lions, big glasses of Barolo and hands held, my marriage was over. Number 1. Gwyneth and Chris separated because they didn't fit together. In the same British Vogue essay, Gwyneth revealed the real reason behind her divorce, saying that despite being so close to Chris for years, she felt like they didn't fit together. We were close, though we had never fully settled into being a couple. We just didn't quite fit together, Paltrow wrote. It's okay to stay in love with the parts of your ex that you were always in love with. In fact, that's what makes conscious uncoupling work. Love all those wonderful parts of them. Shedding more light on the infamous terms surrounding her split, she continued, I know my ex-husband was meant to be the father of my children, and I know my current husband is meant to be the person I grow very old with. Conscious uncoupling lets us recognize those two different loves can coexist and nourish each other. That's it for today guys, what's your take on Gwyneth Paltrow and Chris Martin's divorce? Let us know in the comments. Also, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so you don't miss out on any of our latest videos. We'll see you soon, until then, take care and goodbye.